some of Guaito's most iconic hits blasted in bass line this morning, paying homage to an artist who played a significant role for female artists in a male-dominated genre. Friends and colleagues paid tribute to Nomasonto Masongani, Omshoza Boza, as she's affectionately known. Ngosnati Zwane, popularly known as Mzambia, detailed the day he met Mshoza. Normally after school I would go there, Normally after school I'll go there for rehearsals and also watch other artists as they do their performance rehearsals. She watched me rehearse, then came up to me and told me she liked my lyrical content. So it would be nice if we could collaborate. I gave her my home address and a few days later she came over to my house. We instantly became friends. At that point, their lives would change forever. Their hit song Cortes, which featured in her debut album in 2001, remains an iconic song in the Guaito genre. Mshoza Engmazi was a very bubbly person. Uh, someone mentioned earlier that she would have loved or she would love to be celebrated gladly and happily. The Mshosa I knew was a very public person. Someone mentioned earlier that she would have loved to be celebrated. I know that many of our spirits are broken, but as broken as we are, I would also like to say we should celebrate her life. I have always seen Mshosa happy. I have never seen her grumpy. I've known Mshosa for a very long time. She was very young. I mean, she was only 15 years old. So. When I first discovered her, she was only 15 years old. She was my child and I was very protective of her. In our entire stable, she was the only female artist. We were very lucky because our industry is a very difficult one. In the entertainment, many are called but a few are chosen. She was fortunate because when we recorded Cortes back in 2001, some 19 years ago, it was an instant hit. Friends say the township queen of Guaito was a doting mother. There was uh, a day uh, in 2017 December. She called me in the middle of the night. I was home in Limpopo and uh, she, she was... She was crying, man. I'm like, what's going on? She said to me, Tawis, that's what she called me. Tawis, uh, when I die, please always remind my kids that I love them. And I, I, I would, like, one abarata, she loved her kids with everything she was and everything she had. Shaza is survived by two children and her siblings. She will be laid to rest in Johannesburg this weekend. Nasipam Mube, SABC News, Johannesburg.